Have you been looking for the coolest shades in the Peloton? Well, you're in the right place. Let's check out the top five Oakley sunglasses for cycling in 2022. Hey everyone, it's Graham, the Oakley specialist here at Sporter X. I'm also kind of the cycling nerd here. We have a lot of cyclists on staff. I'm probably the only one still doing like 200 mile weeks on my gravel bike and road bike. But before I start telling you about how great my rides were this weekend, let's talk about what you're here for, which is Oakley cycling sunglasses. And let's go over a couple key features that you need to know about before you start shopping. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna need something with a lot of lens coverage. All these frames are gonna offer that more or less, but definitely enough to keep you covered when you're out on the road. If you're anything like me, especially on the weekends, you're out there probably for three to five to six hours at a time. I don't know how much time you spend, but that's kind of my norm. Of course, you're also gonna want the right lens type. That's important. Oakley has a bunch of great options with their prism lenses, but there are definitely some that are better than others. Of course, frame material, Oakley has O-Matter and unobtainium grips. Those are gonna be great. They're gonna be on all these frames. And of course, the last thing that's really important on these frames is you want some good venting on the lenses. That's gonna keep them from fogging up. Things like that seem to happen at the worst possible time, maybe on a steep twisting descent as you head towards a hairpin. That would be horrible. So um, by the end of this video, with all the things I've just mentioned, you're also gonna have these top five frames for Oakley Cycling in front of me. We're gonna break those down a little bit more. And of course, remember our See Better Guarantee that's gonna give you 45 days to try these frames out. Free shipping both ways. If you don't like them, you can send them back. We'll find you something better. Of course, you're gonna love it the first time. So that's just an extra peace of mind when you're shopping. All right, let's get into the good stuff and talk Oakley Cycling Frames. Okay, and to start our list, we have the FLAC 2.0 XL. Everybody knows this frame. I mean, if you don't, that's okay. We can jump into why it's such a great cycling frame. SFW of 135, it's gonna be a medium for men, a large fit for women, highly RXable classic. It just looks great under a helmet too. And that's really important. As much as all these frames are super functional on the bike, they also need to look great. You wanna look at the Peloton when you're watching the Tour de France this year, Paris-Roubaix, and see these frames on riders. And that's definitely the case with the Flak. You can look back over the last few years and see plenty of riders wearing it. And that's because it is fantastic. I personally own these frames and I love them. They're just a highly dependable cycling frame. They come in Prism Road, Prism Road Jade, as well as pretty much every Prism lens color that you could possibly want. And just to talk about Prism Road and Prism Road Jade for a minute, those are your two most popular road cycling lenses. They're optimized by Oakley for their sport, which is something that Oakley does with all of their lenses. If you go through our lens guide, you'll see that Oakley loves creating lenses specifically for a sport. And once again, that doesn't mean that Prism Road and Prism Road Jade are your only option. They're just optimized for the road. So you pick up every little crack piece of debris that's there, shades your eyes the way you want. It's gonna give you the best feel when you're riding your bike. Now, once again, in terms of the frame, it comes in a wide range of colors. You can match it to your kit, your bike, your shoes, your helmet, whatever floats your boat. But I know that us cyclists definitely love matching up our kit and our bike and all that stuff. So that's really important for us as well. And if that wasn't enough for you, these are the most popular Oakley frames and they're that way for a reason. They're fantastic for whatever sport you're gonna use them for. All right, guys, and before we move on to the rest of these awesome cycling frames, please give us a like if you haven't already or subscribe to our channel. Um, that helps us out. And of course, then you can get all this wonderful content in your stream every day, which is gonna be great. Now, the next frame on this list is gonna be the Oakley Kato. I had to include this frame on the list because last year, if you were paying attention to cycling at all on the pro level, you probably saw Mark Cavendish wearing this as he tied the record for most stage wins ever at the Tour de France. Now. Despite how you might feel about that, whether you're a fan or not, they did look pretty cool when he's crossing the line. You may have saw these frames and thought, maybe it's a little bit too bold for me. I don't think that's the case. It's a rimless design, definitely very unique and fits here very nicely. It actually has a shield over the nose, which is kind of kind of weird. The first time I saw it, I wasn't sure what I thought, but then I saw Cavendish win a couple stages and I thought, I guess it looks pretty fast. It seems to be pretty fast and it actually gives you a really nice wide unobstructed view. I kind of like how it looks through this frame. There's really nothing in the way above, below, and it gives you this really great view of the world and road in front of you. So very unique lens design for sure. 
Maybe this isn't the frame for you because it's too unique, but I say be bold. You should choose this frame. It has an SFW of 139, so it's going to be a large for the men, XL for the women, and it has really comfortable nose pads under this shield design, so keep that in mind. So it can be comfy. It's not like the frame is sitting on your face. And of course, this does come in road black, dark golf, and trail torch. Those are the three lens colors you can get for it. Trail torch and road black are probably gonna be your best bet, especially if you spend time in the dirt as well as on the road. Now introducing another newer frame that I really love. This is the Sutro Light Sweep. I feel like it combines old Oakley style with new Sutro style, which is excellent because I love the Sutro. It's one of my favorite frames. And if you haven't checked out the Sutro or the Sutro Light, you should go check those out. Similar, just different lens shape here at the bottom. Has an SFW of 136, can be a men's medium to large or a women's large fit. It's kind of the newest addition to the Sutro family, and I really love what they've gone with this. Like I said, I love kind of the classic means modern. Has classic sweeping lenses, probably where the name came from. Definitely a very large shield. This isn't RXable, but if you are prescription, we obviously have some other options coming up for you. And overall, I just wanna say, I really love the look of this frame. It comes in all the lens colors that you need for the road, road and road shade, and of course, a bunch of cool frame colors. So you can match this up to your kit. And then of course, like I said, very wide, unobstructed view. It's gonna be everything you want on the bike and it's gonna look super cool under a helmet. I've actually tried these out and this is probably gonna be my next pair of sunglasses. Moving on to one of my favorite all-time pair of Oakleys. I've owned a couple of these. This is the Radar EV Path SFW 140, which is gonna be an XL fit for everyone. And it's another cycling classic frame like the Flak. You've seen this in the Peloton. You've seen this on some of your favorite racers for teams like Quick Step that are sponsored by Oakley. I love this frame and I unfortunately lost my last pair. So I don't have one right now. I was leaving a road race and left on top of my car, drove away, Realized I'd left them there about two minutes later, drove back, gone, never saw them again. So they're somewhere in the mountains off the side of a road in the canyon. Very sad. Anyway, like I said, cycling classic. This is a wonderful frame, very grippy, nice large frame, fits well under the helmet thanks to the design here by Oakley, which is something that they do with a lot of their frames. Has excellent ventilation on the top. Is one of the things I love most about this frame is airflow that can get in and keep your eyes cool and make sure when you're like doing, you know, hill repeats or something, you're gonna stay cool under these. I don't know if you've ever overheated underneath your helmet and sunglasses, but not as much of an issue with these. I've had issues with other frames in the future since I had these, and that always bothered me, but not with these. Another cool thing about this shield frame is that it's actually prescription. You can have an embedded prescription lens added to these. That's pretty much not the case with any other shields. So this is an anomaly when it comes to prescription shield lenses. Okay, and wrapping up our list, much like the Lantern Rouge at the Tour de France or any stage race is the Jawbreaker, but it's last but not least, this is a fantastic cycling frame. I truly love this frame. It's very flexy, so it'll fit around your helmet really nice. It's a SFW of 134, which can be a men's medium and women's large fit. So right in the middle, it's gonna fit a lot of people's heads. And it just kind of looks like speed. This is in their kind of classic racing frame, I feel like. Great ventilation around these lenses, once again, to help you with the fogging up issue, which you never want to have happen. And I put this on, it just feels very comfortable. Has the road lenses that you want from Prism, which is fantastic. And like the radar, this is actually possible to have an embedded RX lens added to it, which is pretty cool. So great way to wrap up our list. Another classic racing Oakley. I love this on the bike. Maybe I need to add this to my list as well. I'm just gonna go broke buying sunglasses. So that's cool too. All right. And that is it. Those are our top five Oakley cycling sunglasses for 2022. You probably saw something you love. Hopefully you saw like five sunglasses that you love and you don't know what to do now. You're just like, this is the hardest decision ever. I hope that's the case. But if you already know, you can head over to our website, pick out a frame now. Just remember if you're shopping for Oakley cycling sunglasses, you need to keep in mind, you want the right lens type, you want a bunch of coverage, you want some ventilation to keep those lenses from fogging up. And of course you want something that's gonna match your kit and look cool. That's the most important part, right? Looking pro. Okay, a frame with all these features is going to do the best out on the road for you. And I will be seeing you out on the roads. See you later. All right, and that's gonna do it. If you want more content, we've got it right here for you. And of course, if you haven't followed us on social media already, check it out down below. We've got those links here. Of course, remember to like and subscribe. And of course, ask questions down in the comment section below if you haven't already. 
Love to chat cycling with you. See you later.